This one is an easy to medium difficulty question in arithmetic progression. I'll classify this one as a 650 level problem solving question in GMAT. It's an easy question conceptually. The difficulty, if anything, arises from the little bit of tediousness that you'll face when you're calculating. Let's get started. What is the sum of all three digit numbers that leave a remainder of two when divided by three? These are three digit numbers. They leave a remainder of two and then they, when they are divided by three. So let's check out what the sequence is. What is the first number in this sequence, right? The smallest three digit number is the hundred. When hundred is divided by three, the remainder is one because 99 is divisible by three. When hundred is divided by three, you're going to get a remainder which is equal to one. So if the number should leave a remainder of two, the number next to 100 is going to be the first number of the sequence. So 101 is the first number in this sequence. What will be the next number? 102 is divisible by three. 103 will leave you a remainder of one. 104 is the next number that when divided by three will leave you a remainder of two. Quickly run through this process, you'll realize that 105 is divisible by 3, 106 leaves a remainder of 1, 107 is the next number. The next number is going to be 110. So quickly we'll realize that these numbers are starting from 101 and you keep adding a 3 to each of these numbers, you'll get the subsequent number in the sequence. Let's go to the last number in the sequence. The smallest 4 digit number is a 1000. The largest 3 digit number is a 999. 999 is divisible by 3, that's something that we know. We need a number that should leave a remainder of two when divided by three. So the number before this, 998 is the largest three digit number that is divisible by three and will leave a remainder of two. So smallest number that when divided by three that will leave a remainder of two is 101. The largest number that when divided by three will leave a remainder of two is 998. So you found the first number, we found the last number and we know that these numbers have a difference of three. So these numbers are going to be of the form where it is a multiple of three plus two or a multiple of three minus one. Let's look at it as multiple of three plus two. So these are going to be of the form three n plus two. So let's quickly recap this in a printed form. The smallest number in the sequence is 101. We have figured it out. The next numbers are 104, 107, 110 and so on. The largest number we computed it to be a 998. These numbers of the, are of the form 3n plus 2. So we know the first term, the last term, we know the common difference and we know that the sequence is in an arithmetic progression because 101, 104, 107 have a common difference of 3. So now all that is left is to compute the sum. Sum of an arithmetic progression is given by this formula, first term plus last term divided by 2 into number of terms. Do we know the first term? We computed it to be a 101. Last term, we deduced it to be a 998. So the only thing that's left is to compute the number of terms, plug in those values here and get to the answer. How do we compute the number of terms? We'll go with the formula to find out the nth term of an arithmetic progression. The nth term of an arithmetic progression, a n equals the first term a1 plus n minus one times the common difference. The last term of the sequence is 998. The first term of the sequence is 101. We're trying to compute the value of n, so it's n minus one. And the common difference we figured out to be equal to a three. Take the 101 to the left hand side. 998 minus 101 is a 897. 897 equals n minus one times three. Divide both sides of this equation by three. Left hand side will leave us with a 299. When you divide 897 by three, this equals n minus one. If n minus one equals 299, n equals 300. Let's plug in that value here. So sum of the sequence where the first term is equal to 101, last term is 998, is 101 plus 998 divided by two into the number of terms which equals 300. Two gets canceled with 300 to leave us with a 150. 101 plus 998 is 1099 into 150. 1099 times 150. 1100 times 150 is 165,000 because 11 times 15 is 165. We have one lesser than 1100. So this is going to be equal to 165,000 minus 150, which is 164,850. So sum of all three digit numbers that leave a remainder of two when divided by three is equal to 164,850. Quickly summarize computing the number of terms and the sum in a printed form. Going to use a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 into d to compute the number of terms. a n is 998, first term is 101, common difference is 3. So solving for n, we get n equals 300. Plug all of these values in this particular formula. First term 101, last term 998 divided by 2 into number of terms 300 gives us a sum to be equal to 164,850. Choice B is the correct answer to the question. Before you leave, do three things. One, sign up as a trial user for GMAT online course, Visa course GMAT online course at wzko.in slash core. Get started with statistics and average. Get momentum to your GMAT preparation. 
pay and convert it into a paid user to get access to the remaining topics. Two other things that you can do. One, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash Vizaco and turn on notification. Lastly, there is one other thing that you can do. You can join as a member of this channel, which is different from subscribing to this channel. There's a small monthly fee to pay to join as a member. You get some member only perks, which are not available for all subscribers. Click on the join button. Even before you pay, you'll get a listing of the member only perks. Those member only perks will help give a boost to your GMAT preparation. Best wishes.